Hey, you. That yeah looks like it's going to lamb soon. I uh, just brought a yo had lambed right where she's sniffing the ground. And it's in the stable. I'll bring you over and show her. This is Ebony. So she was muttering outside and Susan saw a fox. So I said, let's bring them all in. So they were outside in the paddock. And I've literally just now got them all into the shed so that the fox can't harass them when they're lambing. And I heard that yo muttering outside when the other yo was, had just finished lambing right there. And I said, quick, move the two lambs from here into the shed with their mother and get her inside before she starts lambing. Um, otherwise she might not come inside um, to lamb and then we'd have to sit at, stand out in the cold and that could be one, two, three hours um, just to be here so that the fox wouldn't get the lambs. So there's a fox that has now put us on his patrol or her patrol somewhere out there in the darkness that Susan saw. So here's Hearty with her twins. Hey girl. I've got some food for her. There we go. Her lambs have been iodined. She has two la ram lambs and they're still both very wet. The first one's standing up, the second one's lying down. And Susan jumped in before she rang me and cleared its nose of birthing goop, the second one. So I think they're in great form. Two very healthy lambs. She'll be a good mum. So she's in here now with, uh, she's got some hay and fresh water and her two babies. And I'm going to leave her at it. I've iodined her, their uh, umbilical cords. All good. <laughs>